Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? How was your weekend? I want answers to those questions in the comments. Please let me know. Um, this video will stand as an official apology to Ignacy Chevicek, the CEO of Portal Games, uh, for my behavior over the past weeks regarding uh, the release of new products. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I've been working with Ignacy now for five years. Um, uh, I was the interim uh, U.S. representative for Portal Games in the United States until last year when uh, the company officially hired somebody to do that job. So for quite a few years, I traveled the convention circuit, presented our games to retailers, to gamers, sold our products, all that sort of stuff um, as a as a semi-official representative. I was official, I have business cards, I still have business cards. Um, I collected a small salary, did that sort of stuff. Did websites, wrote all of our press releases, all that sort of thing. Um, and the reason that all of that happened was because I was a disenfranchised card player. I had been, I got my start in the board game hobby with game, with cards, Magic the Gathering. Um, like many of my age group, uh, we all got our start there and then found this whole other world and then kind of graduated away from that. And I played dozens of different card games. Probably, I don't want to say a hundred, but probably close to a hundred different card games of that type of game, the trading card style of game. And uh, in 2014, I had a lot of friends who were... Um, had really positive thoughts about Ignacy, about some of his designs, like Robinson Crusoe, his company's work, like like the Theseus, um, and um, Legacy. And at that year, it was going to be their first adventure into the United States, and they had a new product out called Imperial Settlers. And it was a card game. It was a competitive card game. Engine building game. Cute little settlers on cards. Gorgeous artwork. And I was like, dude, I have to have this game. Well, lo and behold, Ignacy puts out a call for help, uh, for convention help. And I have done convention help since I was 16. So I was like, yeah, I am sold, I'm in, I will come be a volunteer in your booth. And I went and worked the convention Gen Con and we were slammed. I mean, nonstop, five straight days, talking my head off, showing this game off, and I was immediately in love with it. And to this day, I'm still very in love with Imperial Settlers. So. When Ignacy came to me not too long ago and said, I've got a new version of Imperial Settlers. It's not Imperial Settlers, it's a new game, but it's inspired by Imperial Settlers. And I need your help on the cards. And I worked with him to help make sure that the keywords and all the naming and stuff kind of matched up with what Imperial Settlers was. I said, oh my God, I have to have this game. It looks phenomenal. That was months ago. The game's been printed now for a while. And I've seen other people have copies and I haven't had a copy. And it's really made me sad. Uh, in fact, I don't have a copy of Imperial Settlers Rollin' Right either. And that's made me even more sad because people have had that for like over a month. And I haven't. So, <laughs> I've been giving him a lot of crap. Uh, every Monday, Portal Games does a stream. And I've been in the chat room just giving him crap about it. Like, where's my games? Why, why don't I have games? I see other people have games. Where's my games? And uh, so, you know, I, today's stream especially, I gave him a whole bunch of crap. And uh, afterwards, a little later in the day, he contacted me. He's like, okay, seriously... All joking aside, you should have games by now. And I was like, I don't have anything. And he's like, it was all supposed to be shipped, you know, it should be there. And I'm like, I don't have anything. I don't even have a notification that I'm getting games. And he's like, okay, this is a problem. I'm going to go research it because if if I don't have games, then that means the reviewers and uh, Rodney, who does all of our, uh, like, how to play videos, don't have our games. And I was like, okay. And so, it come to find out, my games were shipped, uh, along with everybody else's. And... Um, our wonderful Luke forgot to put my email in the uh, order, so I never got an email notification that my games had shipped. So this box should contain um, a couple of Portal Games products. Let's see. I guess I shouldn't have apologized before I opened the box, right? I should probably, you know, if this doesn't have contain what I think it contains, then I, sh I should have, like, uh, repercussions. No, it's fine. I know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna get all this stuff eventually regardless, right? Like, come on. I'm still working for Portal Games in a, in a, 
non-official capacity. Um, you know, I, I, actually, I am still working in an official capacity. If you're pitching us games at Gen Con, you'll be pitching to me. So if you are a game designer and you have games that you want to pitch to Portal Games, feel free to email me, uh, chevy at portalgames.com. I will put that email address in the um, description. I will be officially, I, I take our pitches and I do our, our um, scouting. So I still do official work. Uh, so what do we have in the box? Well, we have Ignacy's new book. If you haven't heard of this book, this is Play Smart. This is the a role-playing book that Ignacy wrote years and years and years ago when Portal Games was a role-playing company. And it teaches uh, game masters kind of how to tell a good story. And that's something that you, a lot of rule books, uh, role-playing game rule books don't really tell. And he asked me if I, if, he thought, if I thought this was a good idea to print this. And I said, yes. It's the 20th anniversary. Print it as a, like a Portal Games... Uh, 20th anniversary special edition kind of revisit. It's not expensive to produce, so just print some. And uh, I think it's doing really well. I think people are really enjoying this book. Ignacy is a really funny writer, and when he's had a, a decent editor read it and correct a lot of his mistakes, uh, it reads pretty well. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. Um, we have Monolith Arena Academics. This is funny because I don't actually own a copy of Monolith Arena. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Luke. But, uh, yeah, I don't have Monolith Arena. We do have Imperial Settlers rolling right. This was important. I think this is going to be a fun game uh, for me and the girlfriend to play on our little game nights. And I have a video... Uh, no, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to make a video related to that soon. And then, of course, we have Empires of the North. This is the game that I've been waiting for and I've been harassing him about for months now because I fell in love with it the moment I read the cards, the moment that I read the first scratch of the rule book and realized that this was my style of game. And of course, I get all the extra special bits, uh, pre-order bonuses, like the little dude man. So if you haven't pre-ordered the game you, and you want it at Gen Con, you need to go pre-order it, because we will sell out, guaranteed. And there are pre-order bonuses, like we have a little uh, Yeti first player marker. This is wooden, this is a pre-order bonus. Um, I honestly don't know if these are pre-order bonuses or not. I think they are, um, but there's little like little promo Treasure Island uh, promos that come with it, uh, and then some new islands. And I think these are pre-order bonuses. Also, I could be completely wrong. The it might only be the Yeti. But go check out our website, uh, Portal Games. .pl, uh, or I think it's PortalGamesUS.com. PortalGamesCompany.com. I don't know. I'll put links in the thing. If you're interested in card games that are amazing, uh, this one is going to be amazing. I can't wait to play it, and I'll probably do some video on it or something or other. So look out for that in the coming weeks. If you want it, and you want the pre-order bonuses, you need to get it on that right now so that we can get your name on the list, because it's always a nightmare at Gen Con trying to fix that list because people who put in last-minute pre-orders. Go do it, please! And you won't get confused, and I won't be standing at the booth uh, fumbling around with a bunch of paperwork trying to find your name. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you, Ignacy. Thank you for the whole Portal Games team for f my, the five years that I've been helping. It's been amazing, so I appreciate it, and I can't wait to play these. So thank you uh, for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, being wonderful people. I appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Britannica.com. When was the Constitution amended last? The 27th Amendment, Amendment 1992 to the Constitution of the United States that required any change to the rate of compensation for members of the U.S. Congress to take effect only after the subsequent election of the House of Representatives was in, of course, 1992.